But uh, globalize my agenda. Future you is such a Chad Lord. Yeah, that's true. Future me is always like... He carries the whole channel. He definitely does. He definitely does. Current me is exercising a very different set of skills than future me. You know? Phone book anonymous. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, welcome to stream as well. Uh, also, not sure if you meant if it's phone book anonymous or phone book and anus. Uh, as in, there's a phone book in your anus. Uh, either way, I support you. Uh, but since so you asked about uh, you asked about RFK Jr., uh, I I can talk about that a little bit as well. Jank endorsed RFK Jr. Oh, it's over. It's so fucking jover for TYT. Bongo Bongo back to Africa. Uh, thank you for the follow. I guess. Welcome to welcome to the channel as well, bro. Man, it's just one thing after another that makes it, like, I can't fucking take TYT seriously anymore. So, okay. Why do I say that? RFK Jr. is is a Republican plant in the Democratic Party. Uh, for people who think that might be a little bit conspiratorial, there is some, uh, some evidence from recently uh, that corroborates that. Um, and this is not the first time that Republicans have done this either. Uh, from when my dad worked at the Democratic Party... Uh, in the 1990s with the Clinton administration, I believe, uh, there were uh, there were some examples of, of uh, Republicans running as Democrats so that then when the general election happened, they would drop out of the race and concede to their Republican opponent. It used to be a more common thing back when it, you had a harder time telling Republicans from Democrats, but nowadays it doesn't happen as much anymore. The vaccine is gonna get give you autism. Too late, baby. I already have autism. Let's go. Um. Yeah, but uh, you know, RFK Jr. is is uh, is is basically Democrat in name only. Is is the best way I could describe him? I think. You know, um, because he's he's very conservative. He's you know his main thing is that he's anti-vax. And uh, recently, I think there was a video of actually some some people who were working on his campaign who were actively advocating like their strategy is to ultimately turn blue states red and and to make them into like Trump states and stuff like that. Um, you know, some RFK staffers have said, like, look, our objective here, since RFK is an independent candidate, our objective is to make Biden lose and to make Trump win. That, that's what they want. That's what the RFK Jr. campaign is ultimately for. Uh, how, oh, no. I was going to say, how old is this? This is only from six days ago? Bro. It's so fucking Jover. He also agreed with RFK that Biden is worse than Trump? Oh, my God, dude. Dude. says that Biden has been corrupt his whole life. You're never going to any get anything from corruption, but corruption from Joe Biden, the Democratic Party. They love to rig elections. No, dude. TYT's doing the pivot. Ah! <laughs> TYT's leaving the left, dude. Oh, my God. Man. Yeah, RFK Jr. Here's the thing, right? RFK Jr. potentially is a benefit to the Democratic Party. Because RFK Jr. is openly conservative enough that he mostly draws support from a Republican base, right? Like, a lot of the people that are voting for RFK Jr. would not be voting for Joe Biden otherwise. And the video is also going off about mainstream media. Yeah, as expected from Jenk. Man, he used to actually have progressive opinions. Now he's just all fucking Joe Biden bad. This is what, okay. Actually, I'll get to that in a second. RFK Jr., has no shot. Um, but because he's a right-wing independent, as long as he remains, as his image remains the one of a right-wing independent, he's a benefit to the left. Uh, because the the uh, 
what's the term? Uh, there's an effect. There, it's a, there's a term for it. Uh, but like there, there's an effect whereby uh, independents are ultimately a detriment to the uh, presidential candidate from the mainstream that they they ideologically align with more. So like. If there was a left Green Party candidate, they would be more so a detriment to Joe Biden than to Donald Trump. But RFK, being a right-wing independent, is more a detriment to Donald Trump than Joe Biden because those are people, uh, right-wing voters, who would be voting for RFK, who otherwise, if RFK wasn't in the race, would be voting for Donald Trump. And that you know that's how that works. Um, oh, no, I almost made it. Um... <laughs> Those are my thoughts on RFK Jr. directly and specifically. Ultimately, the, the best part about it is that RFK Jr. basically isn't relevant anymore to the mainstream crowd, so he's only really going to be drawing support from a, a, a pretty fringe group of uh, right-wingers, uh, who, again, would have been voting for Trump anyway. But now back to Cenk. <laughs> uh, going off on uh, mainstream media. Dude, this is, this is what being... Uh, petty bourgeois does to you right like this is what petty bourgeois living does to a motherfucker right this is gas leak politics um like of course jank has the luxury and the latitude to to act that way about joe biden because him and like like he's he's uh I don't know if he's CEO still, if, her, if that position is is with Anna because Jenk was like running for president or whatever. Um, but he's a business person. He gets to be comfy, right? Like all these really shit policy decisions that like the mass deportation that Trump is planning, that shit's not going to affect him. Yeah, he's rich. I don't think he's petty anymore. He's just rich as fuck. Um... I don't know if, if I would consider him petty uh, bourgeoisie or just regular bourgeoisie. Either way, this is his class speaking. This is like the the uh, either the petty bourgeoisie or like the lower echelons of the bourgeoisie retreating into reactionism and authoritarianism to protect their wealth from the left, basically. To, to protect their wealth from redistributive uh, efforts and stuff like that. Wow, I got a bunch of stars in a row. Hassan Uncleatus. Uh, funnily enough, Hassan has been a little bit less like that. Like, Hassan has, uh, has, has still, to the chagrin of some of his audience, been, been, like, supportive of Joe Biden in certain ways, and then obviously has acknowledged that, like, Trump is way worse. I wonder if Hassan is gonna shit on his uncle for this? Probably not. I mean, like, as far as I know, Hassan and Jenk have, like, a decently good relationship. Look, I'm not interested in the drama, but I am interested in the political implications and motivation that would, like, um, that would play into Jenk talking positively of RFK Jr. while talking negatively of Joe Biden. Their, TYT's entire image was built up on being to the left of the political mainstream, so much so that Jenk got kicked off of MSNBC. That actually happened. Jenk used to be so, like, too far to the left for msnbc to comfortably have him on because he would always talk about the corruption in dc from a left-wing perspective as in big businesses using their money to influence politics thus having the effect of pushing the democratic party to the right uh but now now that he's one of said businessmen nowadays um even you know he owns his own media outlet they're one of the most established media outlets on youtube in fact they were one of the first news outlets to have a partnership with youtube he is basically, he's become the very thing that all those years ago he swore to destroy. And that is because of what the the uh, politics of that wealth does to a person. And of course, it's because Anna kind of took the dive first and he's, uh, Jank is a ride or die homie. Like as much as I talk shit about Jank's politics, you want to have a homie like Jank. He is the biggest homie to his homies that you could ever conceivably have. Um... But yeah, this, this is, um, this is TYT making the pivot to the right. You know, I remember, in fact, Tulsi Gabbard and Jim Jimmy Dore. I used to watch Jimmy Dore when I was like 16 or 17. I got out of that pretty early, thankfully enough. Jimmy Dore started doing the same thing. First of all, it was aggressive, like being very aggressively left wing, criticizing the Democrats from the left, which, you know, at the time 
I didn't really have a problem with, and I still don't in, in many ways. But then I started to notice he started only talking about the Democrats, even when the Republicans were getting up to some insane shit. And then all of a sudden, the line pivoted to actually Democrats are the real corrupt ones, you know? And and now that pivot is happening in, uh, in TYT. And I would bet that, like, in maybe a couple of years, like a year or two, TYT is going to start sounding a lot like Jimmy Dore sounds now. Because uh, a couple years after that, Jimmy Dore was, like, um, pretty, like, comfortably on the right. This is what the right-wing pipeline does to a motherfucker. And what wealth does to a motherfucker. Oh, no. No! Why'd you do that? My African, African online talked about how gassing Syria was fake and sent a leftist video to prove it to me. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of conspiracism that, like, that's, uh, that really is an integrated part of this pipeline, you know? Can you guess who he sent me? Uh, Jimmy Dore. And I'm not just saying that as, like, a wild guess. Yep. I, I, I know from, uh, from experience, having seen some of Jimmy Dore's stuff, this was long after I stopped watching him thankfully um yeah uh, one of the first things that jimmy Dore did on his pivot to the right was become pro assad you know it, having all these like gray zone types on in fact i think it's at, at uh, various points he may have been on the uh payroll for rt or at least have uh getting some preferential deals from them or something no <laughs> uh Yeah, definitely be aware of that stuff. You know, RFK Jr., it, like, he, he really didn't have very many, uh, policy positions, like, when, when he was running. And now that he has any policy positions, they're batshit insane. Like, his main thing that he's known for is being anti-vax. <laughs> so. And being, like, a COVID conspiracy theorist and shit. Okay. <laughs> that bullet bill still did me in because it bumped me such that I, I wouldn't like wasn't able to take the turn. Ooh, a shock. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's about all I have to say. I think about uh, RFK Jr. After this, uh, after this race is done, um, I can move on to uh, doing that debate review. <laughs>